Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And as you can guess by the title of today's video, I'm going to be trying out um, some healthy, not healthy, like as in kind of naughty, but not naughty, low calorie snacks. Um, the reason that I decided to film this video is because sometimes I find myself fancying like a sweet treat or even like a savoury treat but I don't necessarily want to go down an unhealthy route. I've managed to find some alternatives to uh, having bad snacks but sometimes I don't necessarily want to have like fruit and just be all healthy and zen and whatever. So um, I've had a couple of, I've tried one of these things but no. I've tried two of these things before, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna do a brand new taste test and review and rank these snacks for you guys from top to bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I just make videos of whatever I feel like making videos on. Um, pretty much anything to do with my life, vlogs, lifestyle. I already said my life, haven't I? Gym, medical school, anything to do with my life. So, subscribe. That didn't really sell it well, did it? Okay, doesn't matter. So. We're going to go through what we have in front of us. Sorry my foot is up. I'm just getting relaxed with you guys as I would in reality when I'm having a snack. So we have some yogurt snacks, biscuity stuff, naked bars, like snacker jack things, what are they called? Rice cakes, jellies, four flavours. I'm going to like give you guys the full shebang review of them. Um, sweet and salty popcorn and crisps kind of stuff. And brownies. Okay, I think the highest calorie item we have here is the popcorn so the entire bag of popcorn is 135 calories and then the lowest calorie item we have here is the jellies they're all 10 calories each the brownies 90 calories um the bag of chips 97 calories this one is 94 calories oh the naked bars are 135 calories so they are on par with the bag of popcorn um, and then we have Oreos because you know what who knew Oreos can actually be okay as a snack so if you're having four of these Oreo thins this is the coconut flavor because we've all tried the standard Oreo so I want to try something different then you are hitting 118 calories not bad right like if you just want something that is naughty but it doesn't break your healthy lifestyle then it's quite cool and then we've got these go-ahead bras. Each slice has 71 cals. Um, we have so smooth caramel snacker jack rice cake. Each rice cake, 51 cals. These have become my holy grail recently. They are snacker jacks um, rice cakes, chocolate chip rice cakes, and they are 62 calories per rice cake. I don't really focus on calories in like everyday life. Um, but I guess when it comes to having something naughty, why do I call it naughty? Like, it just sounds so weird. When it comes to having something that's like a treat, but I don't want it to necessarily break my healthy lifestyle, then I'll look at like the calories and stuff on it. So yeah, these aren't necessarily the healthiest, but they're also not the worst for you is what I'm trying to get at. Um, Cause I don't want those people hitting me up in the comments like, this isn't healthy. I know it's not healthy. The whole point is it's gonna be a snack or a treat, but it's just, not gonna make you feel guilty like oh my god i've completely ruined my health kick and my healthy buzz because that's what happens to me when i like go off and have a chocolate bar or something like that so so what do i feel like starting with i feel like starting with something savory so i'm gonna rank each item that i eat out of 10 and like maybe compare them to something that you can eat so i'm gonna start off with pop chips sea salt and vinegar this is 94 calories per bag and I should say I got all these items from Tesco, so you can get all of these from your local Tesco. Mmm. Yeah. Really good. So usually with like low calorie crisps or whatever, they have no none of the flavouring on there, so you're literally just eating dry potato. But this one, you can actually taste the salt and vinegar seasoning on there. And it's got a nice poppiness to it. It's not really like bland. Where was I in this review? Let me have another one. These receive a solid 7 out of 10 in the crisp ranking for me. And for the locale snack ranking, it would get a solid 8 out of 10. 
obviously the main difference being that it is not as sexy as a typical Walker's salt and vinegar crisp but still for the low calness of it and the fulfillingness of it, it definitely scores well next i got from the same brand pop chips barbecue um popped not fried and this is 97 calories mm. wow this has even better flavoring than the salt and vinegar flavor like the seasoning is strong like it's proper barbecue this is like just as good as a normal barbecue crisp i love this this one felt lighter and fluffier than the salt and vinegar flavor and i liked it way more than salt and vinegar flavor global rating nine out of ten i would buy these again for sure next i'm gonna hit you up with ah! gonna hit you up with these popcorns it's proper corns sweet and salty popcorn and it's 135 calories per pack yeah this is just your box down of popcorn i mean it's not the strongest flavoring it's hardly butter kiss toffee pop popcorn but i can still taste that it's more sweet than salty which i'm happy about oh no just got some salty too this is so good if you're watching like a netflix movie and you just want to have popcorn i you eat this whole bag which is quite full by the way it's only 135 cows on a popcorn global score rating where view cinema's popcorn scores a solid three out of ten because it actually tastes gross and Butterfist Toffee Popcorn is a solid 10 out of 10 because it's so good. This would go at like at a 6 or a 7 in the popcorn world. In terms of healthy snacks, I give it like a good 7.5 because I feel like if I'm sitting down watching a movie, this will hit the spot in terms of being like a naughty snack to watch around TV. Why do I keep calling all of these naughty? I don't know, okay? It's also got good flavouring. It's not the strongest of flavours, like as in it's... It's got like good flavouring, it's not like I I'm like, oh my god, it's tasteless as popcorn. I mean, it's better than the View Cinema one, so take this as cinema. What do I feel like? Okay, we're gonna go with the brownies. It's Fibre One's um, brownies. These are 90 calories per brownie. How is that even legal, guys? 90 calorie brownies. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I can't lie, when you open the box, this is actually how big the brownie is. So like, half that packaging is a lie. Let's take this out. To those of you who have read the name of my channel, I am Persian Bunny, which means that I have an Iranian mum, so if I don't put this plate under me right now, when my mum watches this. Okay. This is the brownie. Okay, it's quite small on this plate. But still, I guess 90 cows. What can you expect? You're not going to expect some, like, hubba dubba brownie. And I've seen, like, ones that are this big with, like, 300 calories. So let's try this out. Mmm. Yeah, it was super chocolatey. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna end up leaving half of this, it's too good. It's soft, it's gooey, it's chocolatey. I think it's, it's a bit small, so I'm gonna deduct a point. It gets a solid nine out of 10 in the low-cal snacks world. And I would say in the brownies world, I would give it like a seven out of 10. I can't lie, I hope that you guys all give this video a thumbs up so I can film loads more videos of me eating and call it something that I do for YouTube. Ugh. Goals. Dreams. And I've got some more space. Ooh, let's hit up the coconut thin Oreos. They have plain thin Oreos. So like I said, four of these thins will get you 118 calories. The pack is full of loads of these, I don't know. Wait, it's full of 32 thins. Not that bad. So this is each thin. So I'm allowed four of these for 118 cows. Okay. Yeah, this is good. One, the coconut flavor, feeling it. Really good, would buy it again. Two, the thinness takes away from the whole Oreo vibe. Like I love thick Oreos, that's the whole point. But in terms of like a chocolate biscuit and the thought that I can have four of these. In the Oreo world, where the original Oreo ranks at a solid 10 out of 10. And in the biscuit world, where the Oreo ranks at a solid 10 out of 10. This would rank in 7 out of 10. 
It's not the worst. It's not the best. I would give this a 7 out of 10 in the healthy snacks world just because I feel like the brownie would be more filling than four of these. So I've got my spoon. I'm going to take a spoon out of each of these and tell you which one I think is my favorite, starting with strawberry. This smells like a candle in a good way. Like, I know candles don't smell edible. Actually, you know what it smells like? You know when you get lip balm that you want to eat? That's what it smells like. Mmm. Tastes good. Maybe because I've just had chocolate doesn't taste as sweet as it should have. I probably should have thought that through better. But it kind of tastes chemically as well. I don't know. Tastes nice though. It doesn't taste like strawberry. Like I said, it tastes like you're eating yummy smelling lip balm. Next we've got the mango and the passion fruit. Mmm. I didn't think I was going to like this, but this actually tastes so much like passion fruit. This one has better flavouring recipe than the strawberry flavour. This one's better than the strawberry one already. Next we've got blueberry and blackcurrant. Mm. Kind of tastes nice, kind of tastes like cough medicine. I don't know. If I had nothing else, I'd pick this up, but I wouldn't pick this flavour. This goes bottom of the pile. Then strawberry. Top is currently mango and passion fruit. And last one to try from the jellies is raspberry. Okay. This jelly is accidentally watery, which is making me feel sick, like the water's going everywhere. The raspberry flavour is not bad. I would say it's better than the strawberry. Okay. The wateriness of it is literally like making me feel sick. Look. It's actually like medicine. No, I'm just making a mess. So I'd rank that better in terms of flavour. Overall, the jellies. For 10 calories a pot, I would say go for it. Like, you know, what's 10 calories going to do? Like, you breathe 10 calories in a minute. Probably breathe more than 10 calories in a minute. So I would say it's a good locale option for a snack. Um, in terms of flavours, the mango and passion fruit one was good. And then the other ones were just a bit like variations of your medicines. Um, the raspberry one was okay, but it was watery. I don't know what was wrong with that one. I feel like I hope we're doing it poisoning. Um, in terms of the low-cal diet um, food world, I would give this a solid 5 out of 10. I wouldn't pick, like necessarily pick this over any of the ones I've just eaten. But if it was at home and I wanted something to have low-cal, I wouldn't push this away either. So it doesn't taste bad. In terms of the jelly world, these jellies rank really low. Go on it, go to Iran on holiday and you'll see jelly with cream and ice cream and sprinkles and whatever. They are like a sort of 10 out of 10. These would be like a zero. So now we're left with the Snacker Jacks, the Go Ahead Bar and the Naked Bar. I feel like I need to eat something salty because I've just had so much sweet stuff. I'm throwing it back in with the barbecue. Sorry for side tracking. So next I'm going to go in with the Go Ahead Bar. Oh yeah, they had different flavours. I picked up the forest fruit. I usually get the strawberry when I get these. I really like these. I feel like they're nice to have with chai. All of the chocolatey stuff I've tried are nice to have with chai. Um, or you can just, you know, whip these out. Me, when I'm on a ward round or whatever, and then I get really hungry after like three hours, I'll literally just go on a break and have one of these. So it's a good little break bar. This is what it looks like. There is like yogurt on the top and then the bottom of it is like a biscuit and then in between it is like dried fruit. Mm. If any of you guys have watched my American candy video, Persian Girl Tries American Candy, you'll see me try pop tarts and this is like a better version of a pop tart to me. Maybe if I put this in a toaster, if the top bit doesn't melt off. They don't taste quite good. It's also nice if you want something sweet, but you don't want it to be chocolatey. I think this is a really good alternative because it's like a yogurty, fruity thing, but it's not fruit as well. So it's a nice different thing to have, and it's only 71 calories a slice. In the bars and breakfast bars world, where you have like naked bars, these bars, and cocoa pops and squares and whatever, I would rank these quite high because they're quite unique, and there's no really other bars out there that are like this. I would give this like a 9 out of 10 in the bars world and in the uh, local diet snack world um, I would give this a solid 9 out of 10 as well really nice
So now it's time for the Naked Bar. I actually buy these quite often, but I haven't bought them in ages. They sell them at my university's SU shop, and my mum will sometimes buy them for me if I ask her to. So basically, I buy them for myself. It says on the back, with a cuppa, on the go, or just in case in your bag, which is true. I feel like these are really small and convenient to have in your bag. But I can't remember what it tastes like, and considering I've just had a lot of really chocolatey stuff, I don't know if this is going to be on par. I bought the flavour Coco Delight. Mm. If you've never had a naked bar before, the one thing to bear in mind about these is their texture is a bit like baby food left for a little bit to go like mushy. So like when you bite into it, it's like a marshy tougher than a marshmallow softer than a cake no i don't know it's basically like sticky chewy kind of flavor so kind of texture so if you don't like that texture don't go for these i don't mind that texture i'm cool with that texture we're getting along well um the only thing is is that it's not really chocolatey and more tastes like dates and it does say that the key ingredient in here is 48% dates, 29% cashews, 17% raisins, and 6% cocoa, and a hint of natural flavouring. Basically, this ain't a cocoa delight bar. Like, don't get tricked into thinking it's a chocolate bar. The cocoa is the 6% of cocoa powder they've added to a date bar. So for a date bar, it's okay, it's quite nice. For a chocolate bar, it's a zero. For a date bar, it's a good, like, seven, eight out of ten. For a locale snack, it's a good seven. I wouldn't necessarily pick this over the brownie or pick this over the Oreo thins, but I would pick this. Last, I'm going in with the snack of Jack rice cakes. Rice cakes are always good, healthy things to have. Like it's good for you if you get the plain ones and then you put like your breakfast on it instead of bread. Um, I love rice cakes so much. I've never tried this flavor before, so I'm gonna go in with it first. It's the smooth caramel flavor and each rice cake has only 51 calories. It's nice. I don't know if I'm a caramel girl, but it's nice. I would I would eat to the end of the rice cake. I would eat to the end of the packet. Would I buy another packet? I don't know. So in the rice cake world, um I will give this caramel flavour a five out of ten. I just don't love it. I don't hate it either, but I just got that like halfway through. In the locale snack world, I'll give the caramel flavour 4 out of 10. There was just other stuff here that I liked more. Next, I'm going in with the cheeky chocolate chip flavour. And considering I've had like 3 of these packets in the past like month or 4 of these packets, I know I'm going to love this. Only danger with these, with the locale snack, like having this as a locale snack, is that because you've got the whole packet and it's not put out in like portions for you, you have to be careful that you don't keep on reaching for more and more, in which case you might as well have had a chocolate bar. Obviously it looks the same as the other one, just a bit more chocolatey, and there's little chips like on there-ish. Mm. In the rice cake world, this rice cake gets a solid 10 out of 10 for me. In the low-cal snack world, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, just because it's, for me, 10 is like something that's really better than like ice cream and all those snacks that I freaking love. So yeah, a 9 out of 10 is ranking really well. So well done, Snacker Jack chocolate chip. You were awesome. So that is the end of this video. Wow, and the level of confidence I had to film this in a crop top while sitting down makes me lol. Um, but you know, wouldn't be me if I didn't. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love reading them. And thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Oh wait, I forgot to say please subscribe. Yeah, please subscribe. And thank you for subscribing if you do subscribe. And don't forget to check out my social. They'll all be linked in the description. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.